Hello everyone, welcome to another video in this InPlay Online video series and as you can tell it was time for yet another background so we are now in this lovely hotel room or whatever this is. So I'm going to get straight into the video as usual so if I share my screen this one is going to be about adding drawings to your clip. So you can see here I'm on the timeline that we've created in previous videos in this series which if you want to go back and check out the old videos just head over to my profile and they'll all be in my previous posts. So you can see here we have the clips, so what I'm going to do is select one of these clips that I've already created and I'm going to add some drawing to it. So what I'm going to do is select, we'll go for this first playing out clip here. So I can click on this, you can see that clip plays, and then what I can do is go over to the top right and click edit. Now, it might be a bit awkward with the zoom, I might be blocking this with my camera, my face might be blocking this, but you can see in the top right here we have the drawings tab. So we've got info here, we've got comments here, which we spoke about in the last video and then we've got drawings just next to that and at the moment we don't have any drawings on this particular clip so what I'm going to do is going to click new drawing just here and then what you can see here is we have this on the right almost like a, a, a timeline of the timeline so this is the clip that we've selected so this is this clip here it starts at 7 minutes and 14 seconds and it runs for 20 seconds until 7 minutes and 34 so if I scrub through this you can see the video is moving so I can go right to the exact point that I want to add a drawing and into my particular clip. So what I'm going to do is just going to select this bit here. So let's say I want to circle a player, maybe highlight some space and pop on some text. You can see the different options that I have here on the right hand side. So first thing I'm going to do is click circle. I'm going to circle this guy here. So this number five, I can just drag that. And obviously everything that I add here, I can change the color, I can change the weight and obviously the position and the style and stuff like that. So we've added a circle first. Now this one's pretty useful here so I can highlight the space if I wanted to in this section here. So I can highlight this almost like a custom shape. So I can highlight that space. I can chuck some text on there. So again, I can just pop that there and then I can delete this sample text and I can type whatever I want in there. Again, I probably would change the color of that um, so it doesn't contrast or so, so it, you know, you can see it over the grass a little bit better than blue on green. And then other things here, you've got different lines, you've got arrows, arrows obviously quite a useful one here. We can move this arrow around, we can again change the thickness of the arrow, etc. So just a few things there you can see, circle, arrow, line, shapes, etc. So text as well, very, very useful. So once we've added this in here, I'm just gonna click this tick up here and you can see now it's adding that drawing in, we've got drawing one. So we can have multiple drawings on a clip if we want to. So the reason for that, you might want to play the clip for maybe a couple of seconds, stop with the drawing, and then let that continue, and then add another drawing right after just to re-emphasize your particular point. So what I'm gonna do is replay this clip back now. So go to the timeline, click on this. So this will play until it gets to that particular point in the clip. So there we go, we've got the drawing on there. So you might be presenting this on the screen at the training ground, you might be, you know, just reviewing it yourself. Or what you can also do is either download this, so you can see it offline, but you can also add it to a playlist and send it directly to a player or a coach or an analyst or whatever. So this will pause. So imagine it is on the big screen, you're talking around it. When you're ready for it to continue, you just tap the space bar and it will play the rest of the clip. So just again, I'm gonna click on the clip again. It will play, it will get to that particular point with that drawing right there. We can leave that there and then we just go and tap that to go. And then if there is another drawing there, let's say, the same thing would happen, it would pause again, show the drawing. So a great way to draw attention to a specific part of the clip, maybe highlight a player, maybe highlight where a player should have been if they would have made the run that you wanted them to make. So drawing is very, very useful. There's been studies on drawings in terms of helping the recall of certain information from players. So it's really, really interesting and you know a very vital tool when it comes to analyzing, but also you know passing that feedback to your players and coaches. So hopefully that was useful. So if you do want to have a go with that yourself, you can click the link in this com in this uh, post, sign up to a free trial. If you have any questions, leave a comment, send a DM. And, but hopefully, like I say, I hope that was useful. So that's it for this video on adding drawings to clips. So hopefully I'll see you in the next video.